This song is for all of the armed forces that's fighting for peace over in a foreign land fighting to preserve the peace for you and you and me too. So let's do it, Father. How do you do? How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular Thursday blog, but this time, this time, there's you know sometimes you t some things are more important than others. I'm talking particularly to the Democrats. Anybody who's a Democrat, if you have any kind of a conscience at all, are you ashamed of yourself or not? People think of me as conservative, but if Bush said anything as disgusting or did anything as disgusting as what the Democrats are doing now to betray us, I would be here be betraying Bush in a second. I would call him the same names that I'm going to call every Democrat right now because there had nobody in the history of politics that I could remember, or that anybody could remember, show me anywhere, where a hero, an American hero, a soldier like this, who almost sacrificed his life three different times. He has decorations up to the kazoo, real decorations, like, like John Kerry decorations, who gave himself a purple heart because he scratched his finger. I'm talking about a guy who got a bronze star, a silver star, who was in the hospital because his life was almost over because from the damage that uh, happened to his body in one of the wars. He was in a, every war, every place, and every battlefield. He never was a background general. He was always a fighter in the front lines. A hero like this who never did anything wrong that anybody could identify, never told a lie that anybody could identify. Democrats who never had the responsibility of, of anything in their lives, who are sitting in an ivory tower in the middle of Washington, who never endangered themselves even to cross the street, to sit around with bodyguards and guns in their pocket to protect themselves in the middle of Washington. These do nothings for a living, have the gall to talk to this man like he's a common criminal. Is this the way you talk to a person who's one of the great heroes in the history of the country? How sick and low could you be? And how come there's no avalanche of hate from the Democrats themselves for these common pigs who talk them this way? Harry Reid, even before he started to testify, started to louse him up and said he's taking orders from Bush and if this is only going to be because he was afraid that we're winning the war. They all said, wait till September, the Democrats said it. Wait till September, then we'll hear the truth, because they were hoping the war should go wrong. Now that it went right and all the reports are that we're doing so well, they knew they're going to hear a good report and they couldn't tolerate it because it threatens their position for the next election. So to have an issue to keep it alive, they couldn't care less that it's a good report. They couldn't care less that this man who came here as a hero to even talk to them, they should thank, <clears throat> they should thank God they're even choking up with hate for these Democrats, I can't even control myself. This is not a joke. This is not conversation. This is not like any other blog I ever said. If you're not offended and infuriated by this because they knew they had no issue with him and because everything went wrong for them, when it goes good, when it goes good, when it better it gets, and the more hopeful the sign, the worse it gets for them. Now because they knew they couldn't win a, a verbal battle with them and they couldn't really uh, hurt his position or his opinion and they couldn't challenge him intellectually or intelligently, they knew that he's a winner, becoming a winner, and the war is getting better than ever. And because they couldn't challenge him on a legitimate basis, they decided, let's abuse him. Let's take this hero and make dirt out of him. Before he could even talk, they said, it's all pre-recorded and predetermined. He took orders. He's a lapdog. They don't know what's in it. They don't know if he took orders or not. They don't know anything. Why don't you wait to talk to them and see if he took orders from anybody? Why don't you give him a legitimate issue and a legitimate question and see if he could answer it? Challenging him is intelligent. That's your job. But abuse and vulgarity and name-calling for such a hero? You filthy pig Democrats who are doing this. You don't deserve to live in this country. And anybody who supports you and any Democrat who believes in you should drop dead together with anybody who's picking on this man. Nobody deserves to even live on this earth who could talk this way to a guy who's protecting your life and your neighbors and your friends and your loyalty and your love. That's what you should give him. Loyalty, love, and gratefulness. If you ask him a question, don't abuse this man, you pigs. Uh, oh.